Hey guys, welcome back. Welcome back to my channel. Um, I gotta tell you that um, that last video where we went to Galat, we uh, we left a little bit early, and uh, one of the last bull riding competitions, I guess um, the bull kind of got loose and uh, the judge kind of got impaled or whatnot. I don't know. They, I got contacted uh, via Instagram from one of the EMTs about it. I don't have any um, footage of that because we had left. But uh, gosh darn it, man. I uh, hope that guy's all right. We really had a good time. He also let me know that uh, the drag races won't start up again until uh, next spring. So I'm looking forward to that. Definitely want to check that out. It's not that far away from the Raleigh area, so uh, we'll be able to go down there. Um, and we also want to check out, I think, Fayetteville Drag Strip um, uh, next spring also. But uh, I got some PTO coming up. And uh, I'm going to do a couple little road trips. So I want you guys to, well, who knows? So it seems like I always come across something. I mean, that's why I started this vlog. It's like no matter what. When my wife and I, we got married, went on our honeymoon. Uh, there was a, there was a little bit of drama there. Uh, we went to, we went to Mexico and she, my wife, she used to work at uh, Union Carbide and uh, she borrowed some boxes from work. <laughs> She wanted to bring her own Diet Mountain Dew. They don't have Diet Mountain Dew down there in, in Mexico, I guess. So she thought she would bring her own. And the boxes that she borrowed didn't say fragile. They said explosive. <laughs> Needless to say, security had called us over. It was, it was quite the ordeal. So, I mean, it's just like when we go someplace, something's always happening. So, you know, you got to like, you got to subscribe and hit that notification bell. Because I guarantee you nothing, you never know what's going to happen. And I want to thank, um, I think it was, I forgot the name. I wrote it down. Matt, some, somebody who just subscribed not that long ago made my 1,000th subscriber. I do appreciate it so much. I can do live uh, webcasting from the drone, from wherever, from my phone. This is going to be really cool. Little jar. We're celebrating. Got my 1,000th. To John. 1,000 to you guys. Thank, Thank you, you so much. Yes. Woo. Woo. So anyway, uh, stick around. I'm going to head out. I'm going to do a little. That's, uh, that's buoy right there. She's looking at the string to the bottom of this GoPro. Um, I'm going to do some uh, drone footage of the car using my Mavic Air. Not today. It's really kind of crappy out. But um, coming up soon. See ya. There's a shout out to Scat Pack Mon. Saw his video with the puddle lights. I just got my puddle lights. And this is what they look like up close. This is that slot he was talking about. The little slot right there. And over here. So this little tab doesn't go all the way up because I guess it's going to fold over. So when you put the screwdriver in, you have to go a little bit of an angle. But this is what it looks like. And then on the side, there's the R. And then this one will have the L. So I'm going to put this on uh, my car. My wife saw these and she's like, how come I don't have puddle lights? <laughs> I think I think it's time she's going to want a new car. Anyway, uh, I'm going to pop these things in. You guys seen the installs from the other guys, so I'm probably not going to show it. But, uh, yeah, they're pretty cool. If you notice, though, um, this frosted area is uh, really not where the light is. So, I don't think it, it's going to have such a wide beam as the default um, factory ones. But, anyway, you know, I'll keep the old ones. Keep the original ones. Uh, if I don't like them, I can always pop them back in. But, yeah, these are pretty cool. 35 bucks, I think it was. Got from Amazon, I got it in two days. All right, see you in a little bit. Morning, guys. <clears throat> Thanks uh, for checking into my channel. Welcome back. I want to thank you all for uh, giving me the 1,000 subscribers so I can do my live uh, live feed.
Jeeves. Also able to get monetized. Um, <laughs> I think I think I, I think it's at some point I'm going to get six dollars. So not that I'm going to get rich, but uh, you know it's always a start. And I apologize for you folks that are expecting 100% excitement all of the time, but you understand that a lot of those uh, other videos you're seeing, they're just scraping it from someone else. So I'm trying to do this all on my own. I don't have a team of people and enough of the bitching. So listen, um, I'm heading out to work today. Something uh, I haven't done in a while. Drive to work. Normally my commute is uh, composed of putting on my slippers, walking into the other room but I thought I would uh, drive in today and uh, I have a really neat commute though when I do drive in it's uh, country roads thought I would show a little bit of the countryside if you guys have been around uh, my channel in the old days I think I may have shown you uh, a clip of my uh, 5.7 liter anyway it's a, it's a cool day today challenger was nice and warm when i got it actually too warm i don't know i had the temperature set at like 73 and man it, it felt like it was 100 in here the uh, steering wheel comes on i don't know if you guys uh, have one of these cars but uh, the um when you remote start it, the uh, the temperature the, will come up, the seat will come on, the steering wheel will warm up, depending on how cold it is outside or how hot it is, I guess. So that's kind of nice. I'm just holding this GoPro on my steering wheel. Hopefully, uh, I'm not on my finger over the thumb. This is a black Challenger right there. Anyway, um, yeah. So I'm going to the office today. I am not going to video inside the office. I don't think there's a rule about it, but I just don't think it'd be very cool. And I don't want to get in trouble. Been a nice day here. We got the clouds kind of hovering over the fields. Let's see if I can, when we get out to, to the countryside, you'll see some of that looks pretty neat uh, sometimes and sometimes it lifts and there's like a band of uh, a fog hovering over the, uh, the fields around here it's mostly uh, tobacco fields some, some okra but uh, yeah looks like they're gonna be expanding this road pretty soon here I used to work in Boston It's kind of a neat job, field service. If you're young and you're uh, starting out, field service is a pretty cool job. When I was single, I was traveling all around the planet. And uh, yeah, it was pretty neat. So usually at 7.30 in the morning, there is no traffic and I can blast down this road. Look at all the traffic now. Um, so this is kind of rare. Country Bumpkin Road. I haven't done this commute in so long. Now check out this barn here on the left. Let's shut the windows in here. Look at this barn. We did a photo shoot here. Uh, got a redhead model with a with a yellow Ferrari. I'll have to show you that photo. I'm trying to put that up on the screen. It takes me about, uh, well, depending on how fast I go, <laughs> between 25 to 45 minutes to get to work. Today is probably going to be one of those 40 minute days. Um, yeah, and if there's a wreck on this road, you're kind of screwed because really to get around it, you've got to go way out of your way. Generally, there's no no issues on this road. Most people kind of kind of fly down here. That's another thing in uh, North Carolina. The speed limits are pretty high. Like this road right here. If you were in Massachusetts, you know they probably have this at like you know 35, right? 40, most. Uh, but 
down here this road is 55 so people are doing 62 typically 60 to 65 well I'm mostly about 60 and uh, so yeah the car company by uh, the other way is doing 60 that's a you get an add-on it would be pretty bad I've seen that once where they just kind of clipped each other I got some time off next week. I'm gonna do uh, I'm gonna do some videos. I've got some videos of uh, when my wife and I went on a cruise. I don't know if I'm gonna post it. I don't think I'm gonna post it on this channel. I might. I don't know. They're on a different channel that I have right now, and they're not getting a whole lot of views. Maybe 500 views or something. But uh, I don't know. Have you guys been on a cruise? Do you like going on cruises? We went on a cruise. Uh, the ship was okay. It was the Norwegian uh, getaway. It was a pretty big ship. But let's see, there's a new development. Um, it was a pretty big ship, but uh, I don't know. Quality, it was just yeah, okay, I guess, as far as cruise ships go. I think the Royal Caribbeans are nicer. And I think the carnivals are probably more fun. But I'm not that age, you know. I'm kind of old. I'm old. Check out this farm here on the left. Used to have a barn out there in the field. I don't know if it's still there anymore. Yeah, it's gone now. But I used to always see horses out here. This is a real pretty area. And on my ham radio, I always get band openings. On VHF, I can talk up in a Maryland from here. I don't know why. I'm in North Carolina. One day I was uh, at my uh, Yezu 857D, which is a VHF, UHF, and HF radio in the car. And I was chatting with a guy flying a 767 heading to Brazil. So I'm in my car and he's in a jet. So yeah, and I've talked to people on boats and stuff, but uh, pilots I've ch chat with them regularly. A lot of pilots are engineers or ham operators. So a lot of times I hear them. They're typically on uh, 20 meters, 14 megahertz. I haven't heard them lately. I haven't been on the bands. The bands have been kind of crappy lately. But just the other day, I was chatting with a long QSO with somebody on 15 meters, which is 21 megahertz. Uh, he was out of um, um, Panama. And I've talked to him before a few times. And we were talking about, you know, what, what does it take to move down there and everything else. So, I don't know. I might, uh, I might upload that, too. That's what's cool about uh, ham radio. It's kind of uncensored. You can chat with people all around the world. You get the real scoop when uh, when Cyprus had their money taken. You know that uh, I forget what they call it. They took money from people's bank accounts. Um, yeah, I actually talked to the guy in Cyprus. Got the scoop on what what really happened because you can't get the correct news from the media. It's got such a slant on it. Anyway, so I'm almost here at Youngsville. So let me uh, drop out of here. Um, and uh, catch you guys in a little bit. I gotta tell you something. A friend, <laughs> I go out to lunch with a friend of mine, and we're just uh, we're just leaving, and we see a state police car pulling in. Young guy driving. He's like totally staring at my car. And then a sheriff come up, an older guy, and uh, cause like they're coming in and we're going out. And, and the sheriff pulls up next to me, <laughs> stops next to me, rolls down his window, and says, "You want to race?" <laughs> I told him I got a YouTube channel. I could get a lot of hits from that. Oh, it's funny. But, uh, yeah, they love the car. Uh, don't worry about if you get one of these things. The cops always pulling you over. Just drive normal. You'll be all right. And if you do something stupid, just admit to it and you'll be all right. 
Anyway, uh, so yeah, turned out to be a really nice day here. Look at that, 59 degrees, sunny skies. I had enough, I'm heading home. I'm gonna work the afternoon from home. You know, these cars have a wireless hotspot in them, 4G. And I'm thinking about turning on the hotspot in the 4G, having my laptop run a VPN and see if I can log in to work from my car and see if it stays logged in. I'm sure any of you guys that work from home or whatever or remote might want to know about that. I do. I need to know because like when I'm on call, you know, I could suppose I could go to a Starbucks or something, but um, you know, if I could do it from my car, that's pretty cool also. I don't have to worry about other people's uh, wondering what my business is, you know. I got some of the stuff I work on. I can't, I can't let other people see my screen, you know. Anyway, uh, talk to you a little later. Great day Everyone here. Thinks I'm going to pick the Toyota, but I'm not going to pick the Toyota. I'm going to pick the hot. He goes all the way. The Toyota is pretty darn So he, he, he never cared for Mazda, but then he, now, lately he did a video and he said that he did like Mazda. So he I came like up, and I've had problems with Mazda. Of course, I got burned on a few. Yeah, but the new ones are good though. Sit, my daughter likes hers, but at 94 burned me. Yeah. And then you look at Consumer Reports and you see it's listed as a terrible car. Yeah. Right. Let's go, let's go, bro. Hey, I got a YouTube channel. Right. <laughs> Is that funny? Do they like you, man? We can make we. I want to say we can make some money, man. You chase me. We we'll put it on video. Oh, you race this. Oh, you, you get a video here racing him. Uh -huh. That'll sell.